Hello everyone. Thank you for purchasing the Velodyne VLP-16 LiDAR puck. I'm John and today I'll be unpacking a new Velodyne VLP-16 showing you its basic features and how to get started. The Velodyne VLP-16 comes packaged in a rugged Pelican case and comes with the Velodyne VLP-16 LiDAR sensor, an interface box that allows you to connect power, Ethernet, and GPS, AC-DC power supply for a 110 volt AC plug, one meter ethernet cable, and a memory stick with Velodyne's open source viewing software, VeloView. Be careful not to touch the polycarbonate lens to avoid leaving fingerprints. If necessary, use an ultra soft microfiber cloth to carefully wipe away smudges. The VLP-16 comes with a quarter inch by 20 screw thread on the bottom, mountable on most standard tripods. Now let's talk about the connections involved in setting up your VLP-16. Plug one end of the power supply into the interface box, like so. Plug the other end into a power outlet. The sensor is now receiving power, as indicated by the green LED, and the unit will begin to rotate. Now connect one end of the Ethernet cable to the interface box, and the other end into a computer. Simple as that, your VLP16 is now scanning. Let's talk a little bit about the web server GUI and VeloView software. Now plug in the USB memory stick into your computer to install VeloView, a free viewing and recording software from Velodyne. Open the executable file for Mac or PC and follow the instructions for installation. Change the network settings from automatic to manual IP address. Enter 192.168.1 and any number other than 201 0 or 255 for the IP address. In this case we've entered 70 and enter 255, 255, 255, 0 for the gateway. Remember to apply your settings when done. The VLP16 contains a web server that allows the user to monitor configuration parameters, choose network settings, control rotational speed, and upload new firmware and calibration files. The default IP address of the VLP16 is 192.168.1.201. The IP address can easily be changed on the main menu. To open the VeloView application, navigate and click on the VeloView icon. The VeloView application will now open in a new window. To see a live sensor stream, click on File, Open, Sensor Stream. The sensor configuration window will open, prompting you to choose the correct sensor. Choose VLP16, then click OK. You are now viewing a live stream of your sensor. Click and drag the mouse for a different view. As I move around the room, you can see me through the live feed. You can see the great detail you get from 16 channels. And that's all there is to setting up the VLP16. Thank you for watching and enjoy your real-time 3D view of the world.